hello friend this is Sopnil and welcome to learn sap app so in this session we are going to see how static attribute and method in interface can be accessed directly in the data processing of class okay so in my previous video i have already explained you the concept of interface in object oriented programming okay so if you still didn't watch that video then you can click on the playlist link above or you may also find the link in the description so please check that out so today we are going to see how static attribute can access without the object or reference in the class okay so let's go to our system to see check this thing practically okay but wait uh, if you are the first time on my channel or you still didn't subscribe to my channel then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification of my upcoming videos okay so stay tuned till the end and keep watching learn a app okay so what i will do i will just first define an interface 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 id and interface okay okay so here what i will do i will first define a constant constant variable with a constant name here i will give the character as a char char 10 okay and care 15 okay and here i will valorize this with the values for this we'll use our website name okay www.lanesapbap.com okay and here i will do now here i will define the uh static the static variable okay so how we to define criteria using class class data class data then i will class variable type care 15 okay then i will use the static method okay okay now i will define the uh, static method so how to define is using class hyper class method statement as you already know right we have already seen this in our last session so i will use class method then here in class method okay class method okay so here we have defined interface and in the interface we have defined the constant and the uh, static variable static method okay and so we use the pretty printer fine then and now here i will define one class class cl1 class definition okay and here i will use the end class okay and in the class i will use the i will in the public section i will use this interface okay public section and here i will use the interface id okay that's it now what i will do i will use the implementing interface method okay i will implement this card okay okay here i will use interfaces id okay 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 now here what i will do i will just implement this class okay yes implementation and the end class okay and in implementation we have to you know use this interface method okay so what i will do uh, here i will use the implement this method i will use this imp uh, method okay so method methods see? here i will use the end method okay class implementation after that what I will do we have to implement this method right but this method is under this so I will use this it method method it method it then class method okay then here I will use the end method okay and now we will implement this method okay so how we can replace i will use the write statement here in order to print some output let write interface method okay and here what i will do i will just uh, it i will use here it then uh, this variable will print class here is nothing but we are printing the variable okay here is 
and here also in the next line also we will print the variable or this uh, okay okay so now we'll go down okay so now we'll take the recap whatever we have done so far so what we first we have defined an interface in this interface we have defined a constant and the static uh, st the static data declaration and the static method okay and then here we have defined the class in which we define the interface okay and then we have you know uh, in the class implementation part we are you know implementing the interface method okay so into here here is nothing but we are going to print okay so now in a startup selection okay so now this as you can see this is the static method and starting variable right so for the to access the any static and method and static variable we don't need to create any uh, instance of the class okay that we have already seen when we were checking the uh, uh, the oops concept right so the same way we will apply here same for uh, uh, so we will apply here so how we can even we we'll use class then the symbol uh, static then uh, we'll use the first what we will do first i will just uh, declare this variable okay so here we will instance of variable class data this variable with value as a class variable here class class then i will use the interface the new variable and here i will define interface variable as a interface static variable instantiated okay instantiated and then uh now then i will i call this method okay so in this method it is inside this class so we'll use this class and directly taking the reference of the method okay so there is no need to uh, define any reference variable okay so uh, So now we'll take the recap once again what we have done we have just defined the interface in which we have you know defined one constant and then we have some uh, static variable and then the static method we have defined in the interface then in then we are defining the class in the class we have defined the public section and that, that we have you know if we are using this interface we are declaring this interface <coughs> then uh, in the class implementation part we are implementing the interface method okay so you can see here and here we are nothing but the printing in this method uh, we are printing this first of all the constant variable okay and then we are printing the uh, static variable okay and in a startup selection that we are you know directly uh, without creating the object reference we are directly creating the uh, we are directly taking the reference of the variable and here we are instantiating and then we are calling this uh, method okay and the other so we'll keep put the view over i will show you how it will work uh, so if i will execute so now you can see first we have this oh uh, it will instantiate this method we can directly access this method okay fine so you can see interface static method then Uh, maybe i have defined some uh, a low length that is the reason we are getting this uh, low value okay here so but uh, then if i will go to it then it will execute this method uh, in which we have this interface then it will print this statement our uh, learner cpmr then the class this class variable it will print, okay if i will press the effect so you can see our output okay so what i will do i will just change the length and we'll execute once again so that you will get uh, more idea and it is more visible that you can see all the so if i will execute if i will execute so you can see this will print first this interface then it will go to go inside this method and inside this method we are just printing the interface method okay with the reference out to the static method okay so you can see static for the now called interface static and even instantiated okay so as you can see how if we if it, there is any variable with the statics variable and statics method we can directly access by taking the reference of the class okay here but for the instance variable uh, we can you know we need to define the we need to create the object and we need to define the instance variable and after that we can uh, yeah, access that variable okay so this is the way how we can access the static variable uh, without using the object reference okay 
so we'll show you the quickly also how we can access so uh, access the uh, instance variable so that so let's suppose i'm here defining the start okay this is the instance variable okay class here this is a variable variable okay this is instance variable okay i'm just defining here okay so now let's suppose see you can see this is instance variable and this is a static variable okay static is variable defined as the class is okay let's suppose now this is your instance variable so how we can access this instance variable okay so i will show you now let's suppose uh this is a variable okay let's suppose i will if i will try to access the same with this this way uh let's suppose i return the class uh, with the reference to the uh, interface okay so you can see here only method and class method and class variable are accessible okay but let's suppose if i will put the variable i will put the uh, instant variable okay check and if i will uh, check that try to activate then you can see the can be specified with the static attributes so class uh, so class attribute can only be specified with the static attributes so that means we didn't we cannot use this instance variable so how we can access this instance variable so uh, data uh, we create the object object type to refer to that class to cls okay then we we'll use the create object obj then uh, now here we can access with the using the object object reference okay so here it then class sorry here now if i will press control tab so you can see a local variable is accessible here okay and here so i will use the instant we will remove this first instant variable okay okay variable okay uh, okay so this is the way we can access the instance variable and this is the way we can access the statics variable okay here i here i will use right right this now you can check the output you can check the output i can execute so you can see instance variable instance method okay so because why because it is executing for this line then uh, this line this variable so this line then it is in the uh, then it is print going inside this and inter we have this uh, global cost variable then we have this class variable which is nothing but this okay and it is printing over here you can see if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in a comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website www.learnicpapapp.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out